So if I'm not mistaken, there should be an open missile silo. Oh, we got company. That's probably like a police officer or something. I'm not allowed to be here. Is that a police? Uh-oh. Ranger, I guess I'm all right. Oh shit, that was a police officer. He didn't even look my way. That was a motorcycle cop too, that was not good. What up everybody? We're in the valley today. I'm taking you guys with me to the Nike Missile Site factory. The Nike Missile Site, not the Nike Missile, not the Nike factory. Last time I tried to ride up here, I was on the Roadrunner and that ended very badly. I'll link that video right here. But uh, today I'm on the Caleria Triple X a much more off-road capable e-bike all right she didn't want to just go it is very cold out for la weather i believe it's 60 plus some mild winds you could probably hear it in the in the microphone so i'm all layered up just gonna take this road very cautiously i don't think it's ever been maintained there's been some rain recently, so I'm expecting a little bit of dirt to be washed out onto the roads. And after this, if I have enough battery on my GoPro, I'm gonna take you guys with me to the Munch Box. That is one of the oldest standing restaurants or burger stands in the valley. I'll tell you guys more about it later, but uh, happy New Year's guys. Happy 2024. I hope you guys ha are having a great start to the new year. I hope you guys are having a good day. So I, the only new upgrades on this bike I've done, I got the Akrunu bar light. It is bright as shit. Maybe even too bright. But that's a good thing. Roadkill. The way that the mounting system is set up, a little bit tricky. I think I need to remove the front head, the stock headlight so I can lower the, the beam. I cannot believe I decided to ride this road on the Roadrunner. That guy's coming in a little hot. Yeah, I gotta keep my eyes peeled out here for potholes, for dirt, for mud, and for cars. Yeah, so if you guys are ever planning to visit the Nike missile site, make sure you have a bike with full suspension and you're gonna want larger diameter tires. The Roadrunner's 14-inch tires are way too small for any potholes. Yeah, so electric scooters, you guys might have issues on this road, to be honest. It's, this road is rough. So yeah, once we get up to the missile site, I will give you guys a little bit of rundown on the history. So, what is new? Guys, I just broke 7,000 monthly listeners. Is that a police? Uh-oh. Ranger, I guess I'm all right, but I just broke 7,000 monthly listeners on Spotify for the second time ever. That's fucking awesome. I'm hoping to break 10,000 this year. That is my goal. I got a new song out called Desire. It came out on January 5th. So if you like my music, you want to support me, go check out my new song. Yeah, my YouTube channel is doing very well for the size we just broke 600 subscribers thank you guys so much for subscribing i know i took a little break from videos for the holidays but back at it i got a lot planned for this year it's gonna be a busy year for me with music and with my youtube channel those are my two main priorities i'm trying to get monetized on youtube this year and all of you guys are helping me do that. So yeah, things are going well, the vibes are good. And this is pretty awesome that the Teleria can handle this steep incline on eco mode. I'm just taking it easy, trying to conserve battery just in case. Also just to be safe because I don't want to wipe out again and eat shit. Ooh. This is dope, I can just do this whole incline on eco mode and save battery. Wow. 
Yeah, the first time I came up here on the, on the Monday, I was pretty nervous. Not knowing what any of this stuff is or what's on the road ahead. A little more confident this time around. Here we are, guys. Nike missile sight. Wow, look at that view. This is awesome. As you can see, it's a lot of abandoned buildings, a lot of tagging. So if I'm not mistaken, there should be an open missile silo. Oh, we got company. That's probably like a police officer or something. Yeah, that definitely looks like a police officer. Maybe he's doing some target practice or something. Oh, he's telling me to go. Okay. Well, that settles that. I'm not allowed to be here. Yeah, I'm not trying to meet anybody up here. I'm just making YouTube videos. So, I'll take the scenic route out of here. Yeah, that definitely looked like a off-duty or undercover officer. I'm not really trying to run into anybody on the Teleria. So that was a short trip, but let me give you guys the rundown on the history that I could remember. This place was created in the 1950s, and it was meant to overlook and protect the airspace Check the airspace of the San Fernando Valley and the L area. It's supposed to be able to overlook the Pacific Ocean. Uh, maybe if we go higher up. I believe now this is used as LAPD and SWAT training. So that's probably what that guy was doing. It looked like he had a, some target practice going on. Hey, how's it going? So, at least I know that Teleria is more than capable of handling this terrain. Yeah, this region is helping a lot. Saving my brakes. Regen level three, there we go, that's much better. So yeah, that site was made during the Soviet Cold War era. And it was equipped with Nike Ajax and Nike Hercules missiles. Holy shit, it is cold. This is some good roads. I gotta get those knobby tires, guys. Okay, so operational from 1956 to 1974. This is Oat Mountain. Nike Ajax and Nike Hercules missiles were armed with nuclear warheads and could intercept ballistic missiles. By 1958, the Army had established 200 Nike missile bases in the U.S., including Hawaii and Alaska. 16 bases surrounded L.A. But yeah, that's about it for the missile site. It's just a bunch of graffiti and abandoned buildings with bullet holes and glass everywhere. Now I'm going to take you guys with me to the Munch Box, which opened around the same time this missile site was operational. The city of Chatsworth voted to have the Munchbox a historical landmark. So that's why the Munchbox still stands today. Yeah, I think that's where I wiped out. What the fuck is that guy doing? Good, how about you? Hello. Hi. Uh, my first time here, can I see the menu? Cool. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Okay, awesome. 
Oh, cash only. Okay, I'll go, I gotta go to the ATM. Thank you. Damn, that smells so good in there. When I went, before I went to the ATM, that guy in line at the munch box was trying to pay for my food and I was like, nah, dude, you really like, thank you so much, but it's all good, man. That was really awesome. Some good people out here. It is too windy for me to eat there. GoPro battery is gonna die soon, so I'm gonna close it out here. Video didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted to, but hey, at least I didn't crash and I got some good food with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy this type of content, hit that subscribe button, press the like. Check out my music on your favorite streaming platform. Yeah, use my music in your TikToks, in your YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, in your stories. Everything helps, guys. Things are really starting off pretty good this year. That's all thanks to you guys supporting me. So make sure you guys ride safe. And I hope you guys have a great day and a great 2024. Peace out.